Hello my friends, how are you today? Uh, I decided to just stop by and make a little video for you uh, about how to model elves or gnomes uh, hats or faces because I love I love my fantasy characters and I love elves and, and gnomes and I think they're so cute and they have so much room for modeling and to over exaggerate their features and accentuate every feature that I think is awesome to model. So I'm going to be modeling one of this. It's not in a specific one. I'm going to take a little bit of each of them and I'm going to make a new elf uh, more like a gnome face uh, for you guys so you can check this out and try to model it at home and let me know how it works so I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed this so for this Thank face you. I'm using sugar paste um, very light skin color sugar paste actually is the one that you buy already made and I uh, need it together with some white sugar paste I'm saying sugar paste a lot <laughs> and I'm going to also use for this one a little support a little uh, egg shape of styrofoam to put inside the face so it will give it a little more support so when I want to create my whole um, my whole doll or the whole gnome I will have an extra support on the head so the first thing that we're going to do is inside I let the sugar paste rest for about five minutes so I know that it's not wet inside and when I start modeling the the paste is not too wet or the water won't come out the water that I use to glue it inside so the first thing that I'm going to do is to mark you can use your fingers or you can use a modeling tool this middle line because from here we're going to take we're going to create uh, the eyes and the forehead and the nose and the chin. So we need this first guide. Remember, this is not like anatomically 100% accurate because it's a gnome, it's a fantasy creature. So you can play around with the proportions. So I'm going to do this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to bring out the nose and the cavities for the eyes and the mouth. Um, the nose is going to be quite big because we want the character to have a very strong feature for the face. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Check this out and do it at home. I love to use this modeling tool because it's quite, it's easy to use and it's, uh, it's good for a lot of things. So as you can see, I usually for the face, I will bring the nose down all the way. In this case, I'm bringing it out like this. So I create a wider, a wider nose here. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit so I can have a lot of room for the nose and for the forehead. Now let me mark now my nose, my nose, the nose of the character. It's going to be quite big, fake nose. I'm just marking it, guys. I'm not doing much than this. And now I'm going to bring it out by pushing the rest of the paste inside. Now smooth it with your fingers, perfect. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pinch this a little bit more or press here a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. And in here, I'm gonna bring this up. And bring it out. 
with the help of my fingers. See? That's the great thing about magical creatures. You just you just play along with the with the paste. Perfect. Let's move it here. We have more or less the shape of the nose now. So I'm going to create now the nostrils using this tip. I bring it up a little bit more and now using the rubber brush, I'm just going to create more definition around the nose. You can also use this tool in order to create the nostrils and even bring it up a little bit, exaggerate your character. That will give the character a fun thing. So I'm just going to mark here the tip of the nose. So that will make him more like a chubby nose character. There you go. I like him already. And he doesn't have much many features. I just I usually use the back of my brushes just to give some finishes. Okay, he does have a big nose. Excellent. Now I'm just going to go and start modeling. The okay, mouth. now for the mouth, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to just trace it with this. I'm going to create a very wide smiley face just to make him cute and nice. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, now with the help of this other rubber brush, this one, I'm just going to open the mouth a little bit by pushing this to inside, but following the trays that I did before, And now again, this one, I'm just going to mark his lower lip. And I'm going to blend it here with my fingers. Now the upper lip, I'm going to create it by pushing with the back of this tool up the lip that we marked. Okay, great. Now I'm going to proceed to give him a lot of features in order to make this look like a gnome. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring his chin out because he needs a chin. And when you start bringing the chin out, features might change, but you go back and you can go back and model it again. Like, for example, you can see that his face is going up, but it's taking a more gnome-like face. And now I can work his mouth even better by just making him smile a little bit more. Because now I know where everything is going to stand. And maybe closing this lip a little bit more here and here just to give more definition and 
and even more definition up here. He's going to have a big lower lip. That's what's going to make him different. Funny thing is like sugar paste tell us what to do. Like each character tells us, I want this. I want to be like this. And it happens. Okay, I'm liking this guy so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push here a little bit just to create more definition into the chin. And I'm also going to bring this down in here also to give him more markings on his chin maybe bring this up a little bit more that's the thing about the fantastic creatures you can just you can really play with this okay what do you think so far cool right Okay, now the next thing I'm going to define is his cheeks here and the eyes. So usually these characters have some wrinkles and some markings in these faces so because they're very rustic faces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a definition here, this line that goes from the nose to the corner of the mouth because that way you will give definition to the cheek, you will give more markings like harsh markings here and it will give her a more rustic look into the character. I could have just leave it like that, but these kinds of lines will give great definition into a fantastic character like a nun. Right? Perfect. And you can even bring this part down a little bit, just a little bit. And if you want, just push the sides of his cheeks a little bit more. And even here, make a deeper mark. So it really looks like he's, he has this funny smile, right? Perfect. Now, before I do any work up here, I'm going to do the eyes very quickly. Just around black eyes. I'm not going to do more than this because the face has so much definition that you won't need to do anything else but if you want to go ahead and make a uh, more detail i be my guest and Okay, so now I'm finishing this eye as I did the other one. Just a simple black eye for the gnome. Bring this down a little bit more. And I'm creating the lower 
um, eyelid here as well just by pushing this like I did in this side and this side okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do more markings in his forehead just to make and more wrinkles so first I'm going to give him some wrinkles around the eyes like this and another thing that you can do is just bring this up and this down here so this way his cheeks will be more pronounced right I'm gonna bring this eyelid down a little bit more this is looking a little bit taller than the other one a little bit bigger yeah, it's one eye is bigger than the other. Just bring it down. Okay, perfect. Now, um, I'm going to keep, keep giving him some wrinkles here and here as well. And with this tape, I'm going to give him some more down here. It's just a tire traveler, right? You can create a story of all of, all of, all of our characters, right? Maybe I'm going to give him a, a middle wrinkle here on his cheek to create more emphasis on the character. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. Okay, very good. And now his forehead. I'm going to give him an expression here using the... like the base of the eyebrows here because that way it looks like this is bringing coming down right so you push a little bit up here you look even more even more um, uh, I don't know more character to your character <laughs> if you could say so Now I'm just going to push this down to create more emphasis into his eyes and I'm also going to do marking here in the middle of his forehead. Just blend it up, I don't know if you can see better, and create like a second set of wrinkles here following the line of the eyebrow, right? he will have a, like a more tiring look right maybe around his nose here a little bit more and this is quite a an old gnome face you can create this whole story right uh, if you want to change any of the features, for example, you can bring his mouth a little bit more up here, right? Open this a little bit more, just to give more emphasis to all the features, create like harder lines, right? Maybe give him a grin on one side. It will look like he's laughing more from one side than from the other. There you go. Bring his face a little bit down. By pushing this and bringing this down, you give more, more wrinkles and more emphasis to all the features that we made. And now, I'm just going to take some of the excess from the back because we don't need this. And I could round his face a little bit more. It's going to be covered by hair at the end. I don't know what I'm going to do with this character. I might do something with him, but this was just to show you how to create a gnome face. Or a, a more like a fantastic creature face. I'm going to cut this with some scissors. Because we're not going to need this part. And now I can just bring him down like this so I can create this part on the table. 
round the back and maybe give him a little more details if I want to. Maybe, I don't know, maybe emphasize a little bit more his wrinkles or his smile. His nose here. Create more definition. Anything that you would like to add in order to create this character. Of course, he doesn't have any makeup or any eyebrows, but uh, I'm going to show you at the end uh, a picture of uh, maybe I'm going to create him. I'm going to give him some ears and also the eyebrows and paint him a little bit more so you can see how it looks at the end. And this is how our uh, gnome elf turned out after some uh, dusting. I put some um, pink dust and some painting of the eyebrows and the eyes. I gave him no. I gave him ears, and just to um, enhance the features, I put some uh, pink dusting around just to give him some redness in the hat in the face, and that way he looks like this. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you do many, many gnomes at home and show me the results of your work. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Hello, my friends. Do you want more classes? Do you want more tutorials? Then why don't you go here to www.drkschool.com. You can enroll for free and you will have access to free courses, classes and more.